Aloha and welcome to Hilo High School, home of the mighty Vikings. Located in the city of Hilo, on the Big Island, our students are encouraged to kulia i kanu'u, or strive for excellence. Back in the 1900s, if any student on the Big Island wanted to pursue their education, they would have needed to attend a boarding school on Oahu. To better serve the community, Hilo High School was founded in 1905. Celebrating over 100 years of service to our community, Hilo High School has a rich history and legacy, one that is continuing to grow. Here at Hilo High School, we not only strive for great academics, but we also strive for different forms of success. Our student body is comprised of a group of students that have different interests within their career aspirations or their extracurricular activities. We have really good electives such as marketing if they'd want to go into a business field, culinary if they'd want to go into hospitality and food. We also have photography, which is a good arts program that they can go into. As the chair of the School Community Council at Hilo High School, students are allowed to share their voice through this council because the council is made up of administration, staff, teachers, parents, community members, and students. I love how this school lets students actively share their voice through these ICC meetings because teachers, staff, and administration are always there and listening to create a change. Being a member of a service club has allowed my eyes to open to the real world. Through this experience, I have learned many new traits, such as being a better public speaker, um, being more confident in myself. Overall, students here at Hilo High School work together to achieve incredible success. Taking our vision to heart, students strive for excellence beyond the classroom. Thanks to their efforts, all of our recent awards and achievements have come directly from the student body. Clubs such as our robotic and DECA programs have brought home multiple awards and trophies in design and excellence. And remember, once a Viking, always a Good evening and welcome to the Hilo High School Virtual Orientation for the school year 2020 to 2021. My name is Luke Eclipse Ohano and I will be your meeting facilitator for this evening. This orientation is streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Once your broadcast is over, you can review the meeting in its entirety by visiting hilohigh.org. If you are watching live, you may ask questions on our Facebook live stream. We are aware that on YouTube, chat has been disabled. We will have a moderated question and answer section at the end of this broadcast, so stay tuned. We may even answer your question in advance. Hilo High School uses a variety of methods to stay in communication with their parents, guardians, and students. Our primary means of communication is through our website, hilohigh.org. As you know, our circumstances seem to be changing on a daily basis. To, the, to know the most up-to-date information, please check our website, hilohigh.org. In addition to the website, we are present on social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Hilo High School. On our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Hilo High School, you will find videos that we post along with our daily morning announcements. Finally, one powerful tool that we are working on to update is our Hilo High School mobile app. Our app is available on the Apple and Google Play app stores and has features such as push notifications for special announcements, the bell schedule, and the group of the day. We also have an anonymous tip line where students, parents, and teachers can submit tips to school administrators. Similar to the Hawaii Department of Education's Speak Out mobile app, this tip line can be used to report bullying and help receive an intervention fast. Joining me this evening are several members of Hilo High School's administrative and support staff. They will be introducing themselves while they are presenting. But first, Let's meet our Hilo High School administration. First, Principal Jasmine Urasaki. Vice Principal Aaron Williams. Vice Principal Jason Trimble. And Vice Principal Heidi Pana. To introduce our counselors, we now tur turn our attention to Mrs. Kelly Frias.
Good evening, Viking parents. My name is Kelly Frias, and I'm the College and Career Counselor at Hilo High School. Tonight, I will introduce to you the Counseling Department staff. At Hilo High School, our students are split up alphabetically by last names. If your last name begins with the letters A through F, your counselor is Ms. Dawn Tillery. If your last name begins with letters G through K, your counselor is Ms. Jessica Yamaguchi. If your last name begins with letters L through P, your counselor is Mrs. Agnes Yamauchi. And if your last name begins with letters Q through Z, your counselor is Mr. Nilton Oyama. We just wanted to take a quick moment um, to let you guys know that even though this School year is going to look and feel very different from any other school year we've ever experienced, that the counseling department is here to support you. Um, we've developed a COVID-19 resource page that is available on the counseling department's page on Hilo High School's website. And we encourage you to take a look at the resources that are there. One thing that can be helpful is um, a request form for students to be able to request contact with their counselor. So they may not be able to see us the limited amount of time that they're in school, but they can fill out the counselor request form and that way their counselor will know that they have a question or need something and we'll be able to get to them. Also, we encourage everyone, students and parents alike, if there is anything that you need at all, just call us or email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you so much for attending tonight. Take care. Thank you, Mrs. Frias. Now, Principal Jasmine Urasaki will be making her opening address. Principal Urasaki. Good evening. Hilo High's vision is a kulia ikanu'u, striving for excellence. That means we want to make sure that we prepare our students to be bikes value self and others, independent thinkers, knowledge seekers in our changing global society. What we really want is we want our students to make sure that they have the tools and they are prepared to be successful in their endeavors after high school. I welcome all of you to our new school year, 2020-2021. As we all know, it will be a new and unique in every sense that you could possibly think of. This year, Hilo High School will be following a hybrid model, which means there will be three learning options going on synchronously. One, we'll have our face-to-face -face learning for our special populations or our most vulnerable students, which might be about 10% um, of our student population. Then we have our blended learning where we have our face-to-face, -face, which is what our ABC grouping with Retro Learning Fridays will be. That student grouping will be group A with last names that start with A through G, B with last names that start with H through N, and group C with last names of O through Z. So our student grouping on our blended model will be by their last names in groups A, B, and C. And what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be on a rotation. So we'll be on an A, B, C rotation with our even period classes and then our odd. So it will be a continuously A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, starting off with our evens. So when our students start on August 17, well, that's what we hope, August 17, we'll start off with group A evens, and they'll go to their even classes. Then Tuesday would be group B only, and they'll go to their even classes. Wednesday would be group C, 
with their even classes. Then Thursday, we're going to go back to group A with the odd classes. So it's a continuous A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C grouping, alternating evens, and then odds. Fridays will be our virtual Fridays where our, your students, your children will be at home on their computers um, doing work from their teachers. And that is also alternating um, Fridays of even classes and odd classes. So we, it, it may seem a little confusing, but we do have our bell schedules with the period rotations. Um, so you can look at that to see what, what day we'll be offering what classes. On even days, our students will end school at 1.45. And on odd period days, our students will end school at 2.15. Those, those were the two options of face-to-face, -face, the blended learning. And then our third one is our distance learning. So this is where our students do not come to school at all. They'll be doing their education and their learning online. They'll be taking classes through our CELUS program. In order for our students to do distance learning though, you need to fill out the distance learning opt-in form. And that form is available online as well. Click on the link and you can fill it out and send it back to us. Once we receive that opt-in form, then we will have a meeting um, with our counselors and come up with a, a schedule for distance learning of what kind of classes you'll be taking when. I know the big question is, um, can students on distance learning still participate in extracurricular activities? And the answer to that question is yes. Students will be able to participate in extracurricular activities at Hilo High School after school hours. But in order for you to start that process, you need to first fill out that distance learning opt-in form. So families, I am asking you for your help during these times. Once you decide on which option um, you want your child to, to participate in, I'm asking that you please do your best in keeping your children healthy because school attendance is going to be extra critical on a schedule like this. And safety is also very important too. So if your child is not feeling well, and has ill symptoms, please do not send them to school. So be sure that you check in with them before um, they come to school and keep them home if they're, if they're not well. If they come to school and they are sick, they're not feeling well, we'll follow the same procedures of utilizing our health room. So if your child becomes sick during school, they need to, um, go to our health room and, and see our nurse, which then you will be called. So it's very, very important that your contact information here at school is always current. So if you have a change in phone number or address, please, please, please make sure you notify us so we can easily contact you, especially in these times. And I wanna talk about one more thing, and that is um, athletics. That's always very, very popular um, here with our, with our students. And uh, last school year, our former athletic director, Mr. Kurt Kawachi, um, had left and is now our, our personal regional officer in, in the district. So I am very, very pleased and proud to announce our new athletic director. In fact, we just got word today that he is um, official and that is Mr. Kael Dramondo. So if you see him around town, you see him around our community, please uh, welcome him to Hilo High um, and congratulate him on being our new athletic director. Um, he has not started just yet, but um, soon he'll be um, here every day at Hilo High School. So next thing about athletics would be our fall sports. So our fall sports would have normally have been started already, 
but because of the situation we're in with this pandemic, everything has been pushed back or everything has been put on hold. So as soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to let everyone know what those decisions are. But currently, everything is put on hold. We're still in a red period where there's to be no contact with athletes and coaches at this time. But as we get more information, we'll definitely let everyone know about that. Okay. So welcome to Hilo High School. I look forward to meeting you as you join our Viking Ohana with pride. Thank you. Thank you very much, Principal Urasaki. And we just got a quick question from our Facebook page. Um, basically, the question was, we do not yet see an updated bus schedule on our site. At this time, we will be working our very best to get that updated for you. But just stay tuned. We'll be updating the website very shortly. As Principal Urasaki mentioned in her address, the two models that we offer to students are a blended face-to-face -face and distance learning option and a 100% learning option with the CELIS. We understand that some students in our school, they may need access to their own dedicated laptop or even access to the internet. We are pleased to say that parents and guardians may request technology from Hilo High School for their Hilo High School students through the following link, hilohigh.org slash 21 tech request. Again, this is also on the letter to parents that was dated uh, last week from Principal Urasaki. So again, the link is hilohigh.org slash 21 tech request. Once we receive your request, a Hilo High School staff member will follow up through email or phone. There are two forms that need to be signed. The first is a technology loan agreement and the second is a technology responsible use form. We hope to get these forms out to our parents within the next few days. Next, we would like to introduce to you our Parent Community Network Center Coordinator or PCNC, Mr. Oli Yohano. He'll be sharing information on Infinite Campus and how parents and students can access their class schedule. Aloha Vikings, welcome to Hilo High. My name is Oli Uhanu. I am the uh, parent involver or with the PCNC. One of the few things that uh, I, I wanna discuss uh, this afternoon is um, regarding uh, your access to class schedules. Um, for, for some of you who have not as yet received your schedule during the uh, schedule pickup last month, uh, your schedules are available at the main office if you wanna call them. Or another way is to check um, Infinite Campus via hilohigh.org um, forward slash IC portal. Now, using this portal, both parents and guardians and students who has an existing username and password may log into Infinite Campus to check on class schedules and assignments. Uh, one thing uh, nice about Infinite Campus for parents is you can check the grades of the students. You also can communicate with the teachers and counselors without having to worry about social contact. Now, incoming freshmen, you'll be provided this information uh, with your packets. And if you're already familiar with Infinite Campus, your credentials from the other schools will still work. And likewise for any parents or guardians, if you have an existing Hawaii DOE Infinite Campus username and password, you should be good to go too. Now, let me talk a little bit about Infinite Campus. Now, this is a portal where here at Hilo High School or in the DOE system is a, is a portal where teachers are able to set up your assignments for the students, provide progress reports, and uh, also grade the students. Now, so for all students, parents, or guardians, you can use this tool, it's a wonderful tool to check and to see how your student is doing. You can access this any time of the day, day or night. You don't have to come to the school or call. That information is accessible to you. Now, some of the questions that I receive, what if I forget my username or password? Suppose you as a parent or guardian never activated into the system. What can you do? No worry, beef curry. 
<laughs> I am here to help you because I am also the Infinite Campus Portal Manager for Hilo High School. Now, all parents and guardians who are authorized to have access may request an activation code from either your student counselor or you can request an information by submitting a service request online. And that site is helpdesk.helohi.org. Okay, again, that is helpdesk.helohi.org. Now fill out that request form using a valid email address and either myself or another technician will be able to respond to the steps to set up your account. Now we're gonna do the research and once we verify your data and your information, we will forward that to you to gain access to Infinite Campus. So that is why it's very important that the information you provide on the request form must match the, um, what you have on file for your student emergency contact. There's also a, a mobile app called Campus Parent and Campus Student that allows you to use your mobile device to gain access to this uh, portal. So if you need instructions to set it up, let me know. I'm more than happy to help. You can find my contact information in the staff directory at uh, on our website, the helohigh.org website, or even on your mobile app. Or you can call me at 313-5658. Again, that is 313-5658. Now another um, hat you could say I'm, I also wear is part of the communication department. Here in the, in the communication department, it's one of the things I do is I wanna get information out to you, the parents as well as students. So besides all the social media that we use, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we have information on our official website, hilohigh.org. But we wanna also encourage all parents to sign up for our newsletter, which will be emailed to you at least once a week to provide you events, um, news, or any information that the uh, administration or the counselors or school wanna get out to you. To sign up, go to helohigh.org. On the main website, on the left, on the right-hand side, you'll see a little box which says to sign up for a newsletter. Now, if you don't see that little box, there should be two less than sign. Click on that uh, symbol and that box will open up for you. Okay, so we understand many are concerned about getting and receiving information regarding what's happening at Hilo High School. So as we, as part of the communication department, is very active using social media, and the, and the newsletter to provide all the timely and informative notices to you. So check it out and we're here to work together to keep you informed. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Mr. Ohano. And just to clarify one point, instead of going to the main office to pick up your physical schedule, please go to the library and see Ms. Julianne Lawrence to pick up your schedule. Uh, to go over the new normal for Hilo High School, we will now turn our attention over to Vice Principal Aaron Williams. Hello, good evening Hilo High School Ohana. Welcome to our virtual, our first virtual um, orientation night. Again, I'm going to be going over some of the new normals here at Hilo High School that will assist your student or your child in coming back to Hilo High School safely. Um, first thing we'll discuss is our new ID procedures. So our students at Hilo High, as you know, are broken up into A, B, and C level students. Those are broken up by alpha last name. Our A students, students A through G last name, will be receiving a blue ID this year. Our B students, those students with letters H through N, will be receiving yellow IDs this year, and our C students, those with last names O through Z, will be receiving gray identification cards this year. 
our expectation is that all of our students wear their ID on a daily basis. Now you might be wondering why we are separating things by color codes. So as a safety measure, we have decided that we will be ensuring that the appropriate students are on campus on a particular day. So if your child is here on a Monday and they're an A student, they will be wearing a blue ID. This will help us to know that they actually should be on campus with us on that particular day and help us to more easily identify those that should be here and should not. So we figured this is a good way to get us started that all of our students will be getting new IDs, which are again, color coded according to the day they'll be here on campus. Um, we really are um, excited about this. We have new IDs being prepared. The students will be given these IDs once they return back to school. Um, and it will also help us again to identify who should appropriately be on campus. The second thing I'm gonna be discussing is how we're gonna social distance teenagers. This is such a difficult task. We're actually quite um, involved in this process, I would say. So if you have been on the Hilo High campus lately, you may have noticed some changes. Um, there's large stickers in areas where students or teachers may um, bunch up. These stickers identify six feet markings so that we are social distancing with each other. Our patio and our benches are going to be fit with Hilo High School Viking helmet stickers and also some, um, we're gonna have some artwork done on some of our areas that will assist our students with properly social distancing while they're out and about on campus. So if you came to the patio on every any given day, usually you'd see 30 or 40 students bunched up onto a table. This year, we're probably gonna have about five or six students all on the table with a social distancing sticker in front of them, which allows them to sit in that area safely distancing from others. Um, the other thing that we're doing this year, as we all know, because we have so many of them these days, is that we are requiring our students to wear masks when they're on campus at all times. This will require our students to cover both their mouth and their nose to ensure that they're properly wearing this mask and that everyone is receiving safety, safe, a safe situation. Students that are wearing masks like this, which is not the proper way to wear a mask, will be asked to cover nose and mouth at all times while they're on campus. We're really, really excited to um, have these protocols put in place so that our students can safely come back to campus with the IDs, our social distancing procedures and the masks. We're really hoping to see our students back in school on the 17th. So we thank all of our parents and our families for helping our students to get used to these protocols and to bring them back with the masks, social distancing and IDs all in place. So I'm gonna flip back to you, Luke, and thank you very much, Hilo High School families. Thank you very much, Mrs. Williams. And so we are receiving a lot of questions on our Facebook feed. And so um, we just would like to let you know that some of them we may not be able to answer directly on this orientation. So if you would like an answer to your question, please direct message it to our Facebook page or send us an email through info at viking.k12.h.us. I know it's a handful, a lot of words to say, but if you are watching on Facebook, please just direct message it to our Facebook page itself. Thank you. To go over the new lunch and traffic changes, we now turn our attention to Vice Principal Heidi Pana. Aloha everyone. Um, I'd like to, for the new Vikings, welcome to Hilo High School. And for our returning Vikings and returning students, welcome back. Um, the, the things that I will be covering is two big changes that will be happening um, outside of the classroom. And the first one is the traffic flow map. So the traffic flow map will kind of explain the way that you would come into Hilo High School. It is going to be a very restricted campus. Um, if, sorry, um, from 6.45 to 8.10 p.m., you will only be allowed to come into the entrance gate. And if you see that red section there, there will be no stopping or no dropping off of your students at that part. 
um, you'll need to go all the way around and come to our learning center, which is also our library, and drop your students there. The bus drop-off area is now right about uh, right below the cafeteria in that yellow section. After going through the campus, you'll need to exit at the top gate there, and there is a light there. I do want to mention that please be aware of traffic patterns on Wainui Nui Avenue. It does become a one-way road at between 7.15 and 8 a.m., so just be aware of that. In the next slide will be um, what we would look at traffic pattern, patterns to be from 8.40 to the end of the school day. Um, there will be a security checkpoint right when you come into the campus and only staff will be allowed to pass that point. If you are a visitor, that green arrow there will show you where the visitor parking is and you'll go ahead, go up into the campus there. In the next slide is what our new cafeteria procedures will be. Students will be required to wear the face mask and or face shields at all times unless they are eating. Uh, we do have a designated area for food pickup on the cafeteria lanai, which will be shown in the next picture. Um, we, can, we can fit about 115 students inside the cafeteria with the six feet um, distance. And that's kind of the map of what our cafeteria will look like. At the bottom there is outside of, actually outside of the cafeteria, the students will be um, picking up their lunches or their breakfasts. Um, it is a grab and go, and they can also go ahead into the cafeteria to eat or go into other areas of the campus. Again, like Ms. Williams said, there are um, logo stickers, Viking stickers where the students can sit. Um, also, we ask the students to please be respectful and dispose of your meal trash in the proper trash bins, especially if you don't eat in the cafeteria. Again, to reiterate, all students are required to wear their IDs. Um, for face-to-face -face pickup lunches, and for, which is new for us, in the next slide is our grab-and-go. We have grab-and-go pickup lunches and breakfast for our students. So in this map here, from 8.10 to 8.40 a.m. will be breakfast grab-and-go pickup, and from 11.15 to 11.45 a.m. is lunch grab-and-go pickup. Students need to be in the cars um, when they come and pick up their lunch and they do need to have their IDs. The grab and go morning, uh, the grab and go lunch and breakfast is for students that are not on campus. For example, if you are a group A student and you are here on campus, the grab and go would be for our B and C students. Um, again, it's coming into that entrance gate. There will be a security checkpoint. Only HHS staff will be allowed to go straight Everybody else will need to take the left there, go all the way up, and you see the green, um, sorry, the blue grab and go tent that will be right outside the cafeteria, pick up your lunch, and then go ahead and exit at the top gate. Um, if you have any questions regarding the map or um, how grab and go will work, just go ahead and send us a comment in Facebook, and we'll get to your um, questions there. Thank you, and welcome back. Thank you, Mrs. Pana. Vice Principal Jason Trimble will now share more information regarding disinfection protocols and isolation rooms. Thank you very much, Luke. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about what our custodians are doing in order to ensure a safe and clean environment for you, um, as well as all students here at Hilo High. First of all, thank you all for attending our virtual orientation this evening. Um, and again, I'm going to talk about custodians and classroom cleaners. Currently, our custodians have been working um, throughout the summer, and as teachers are, they are also being trained in new protocols for disinfecting and sanitization. We have worked with custodians to develop a schedule to ensure that high-touch areas and public areas are sanitized three times per day. In addition, classrooms are being sanitized on a daily basis, even now while teachers are setting them up for the school year, just so that we can get used to the new process. Um, we are looking for substitute classroom cleaners as well as substitute custodial staff. So if you are interested in applying for these positions, we do have an application of our website and please get in contact with me because this is a crucial position at our school. Um, any other questions relating to disinfection? 
protocols or safety can be forwarded to me, Jason Trimble, the vice principal at Hilo High. And when I come back on later, I will share my contact information with you all. Other than that, I will go ahead and turn it back to Luke and I'll see you again soon. Thank you, Mr. Trimble. Now our student activities coordinator, Mrs. Charlene Masahara will share a few updates. Yeah. Aloha, my name is Charlene Masuhara and I'm the Student Activities Coordinator here at Hilo High School. As the SAC, it is my responsibility to coordinate the many clubs and organizations on campus and to assist the student association and class councils as they plan and carry out their many projects and activities. We are hopeful that all students will make a true Viking connection by trying out for one, two, or even three of the more than 20 athletic teams or joining the more than 30 clubs we have on campus. It is when they join that they develop a true sense of belonging to Hilo High School. We will be sharing more information on the teams and coaches and the clubs and advisors when we return to school. Unfortunately, we did not have the opportunity to have a freshman or a new student orientation, but our student activities um, Officers have produced a number of videos which everyone can watch and learn about Hilo High. But to help the freshmen and new students to be prepared for their first day on campus, we will be providing guided tours of the campus to ensure that all students know where their classrooms are located. So beginning on Monday, August 10th to Thursday, August 13th, from nine in the morning to one right after lunch, we will schedule times for tours. Please check the link on the screen, hilohigh.org backslash tour 20, and make an appointment for the day and the time you would like to come on campus for a tour. Each group will have one student guide and no more than nine guests. There will be a maximum of two groups per time slot. Parents are allowed to also join the tour. The tour will be about 30 minutes long, but depending on the number of questions and students, it could be shorter or it could be as long as 45 minutes. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to see you. Thank you, Mrs. Masahara. Finally, our ninth grade Ohana vice Finally, for our ninth grade Ohana, Vice Principal Jason Chimble will be sharing specialized information for you. For our upperclassmen, please stay tuned. We'll be having a question and answer section soon. All right. Thank you, Luke. So I just wanted to share a little bit of information about uh, ninth grade communities. Um, for the past five years at Hilo High School, um, we have done ninth grade communities in two separate teams. Our two teams are Hilo One and Hilo Honakahi. And as many of you probably know, they relate to place names around Hilo itself. Um, let me just share my screen with you and I'll go over the vision and mission of ninth grade, our ninth grade community. So if you look at our vision and mission, it relates directly to the vision and mission of Hilo High School. Our vision is at Hilo High School, every ninth grader will be engaged in a challenging, smaller learning community and feel a sense of purpose and belonging to a culture of excellence. So you see the culture of excellence tying directly in with Hilo High's general um, vision and mission. The important thing here is that we really wanna make sure that our students feel a sense of belonging while they're at Hilo High School. And that's why we try to work a lot with our ninth graders to really make them build relationships with our faculty through our STARS period, as well as just their regular teachers, um, you know, from their very first day here. Um, this year is going to be a little bit different because we're not going to be doing a freshman only day like we have before, but we will have freshman only day activities for the freshmen planned out so that they can reacquaint themselves to Hilo High if they haven't been here already. I do know a lot of feeder schools did some visits. Our mission under this vision is quite simple, is to provide ninth graders the opportunity to practice and refine their abilities to demonstrate the GLOs in order to excel at the standards and develop a purposeful sense of direction in life. The last statement I think is really important, having a purposeful sense of direction in life, and we work really hard with that in ninth grade, particularly in their transitions to high school class. 
Ninth grade we find is usually an exploratory year. So we try to give kids the most opportunity to explore the different electives and programs that Hilo High has to offer. Most of that will take place in the students' transitions to high school class, which as a change of this year, all students will have their transitions to high school class um, in first semester. Now, a few things on what we expect from you and your child, and I'm gonna keep this very brief, but the number one thing that you can do as a parent, which has already been mentioned several times today, is to utilize Infinite Campus to check grades. This is, I'd say, if there is a magic bullet in terms of keeping your child on task, Infinite Campus is the magic bullet. Please always make sure to check Infinite Campus, get your log on information. It is the most valuable tool that a parent can have to ensure that their child is successful in school. Infinite Campus also allows you to actually communicate through Infinite Campus with teachers, counselor, or even administration. And then it allows you to have those conversations with your child when they get home about how their classes are going and their social life in general. And the next thing that I would uh, that I would make sure that you do for the new school year is just preparing your child for the new normal. A lot of students that we've talked to um, and parents that we've talked to, their children have been cooped up since about April and they've been staying home the vast majority of this new normal that we've been experiencing. This might be their first exposure to wearing a mask or coming to school and doing social distancing. Practice these types of things at home. And in terms of a mask, what I've found is that you wanna make sure that the mask fits on you comfortable. As Ms. Williams said, you wanna make sure it covers the nose. But I think the most important thing that you need to realize is that they need to be wearing this all day. So it's gotta be something that has the right fit. So pay particular attention to how the mask fits to the face. And while we will have a lot of backups and things like that to provide your child, it's, it's a good idea to provide more than one um, so that they can swap it out for each day or just have a backup in case they leave it somewhere. Other than that, I'm gonna leave you with my contact information. Um, I have my office, um, my cell number, do not hesitate to use that. It is a work cell, so you can feel free to text me. And then email is probably the most convenient for most people, but use any of those methods. Um, give me a call if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, or if, as I spoke before, you are interested in substitute custodial work or classroom cleaning work. Now I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Williams, who's going to talk a little bit about um, our Gear Up grant, which continues from Hilo Intermediate School. Thank you, Mr. Trimble. Oh, I went home. Hi, thank you, Mr. Trimble. Sorry about that. Lost a video there for a second. Um, yes, we are um, at Hilo High, very excited to be part of a Gear Up Manoa grant. That is, we are in year three of a seven year grant that is, um, has provided students with multiple layers of opportunities. So some of the objectives of the grant is to increase their academic performance and preparation for post-secondary education. And it's also to help them to increase their high school graduation rate. Um, some of the ways that we'll be looking at doing this is by working really hard with our students on their ability to do and complete math. Um, also, we want to make sure that our educational expectations for our students are increased and our family knowledge for, of post-secondary education also increases. So as Mr. Trimble said, um, this grant began at Hilo Intermediate School two years ago, and Hilo Intermediate School is fortunate enough on our side to find um, a gear up partner by the name of Darian Muraoka. Darian is the gear up grant coordinator here in Hilo, who will be working closely with all of our students here on campus. Um, we're fortunate enough to have a spot for her and to have her joining us on our staff to ensure that all of your students in the ninth grade are um, receiving quite a bit of information, a lot of support, and just a lot of um, help getting through that first year. So we are very excited to be a part of the Gear Up Manoa grant, and we look forward to having all of you um, learn a little bit more through the next few months and become more active with our Gear Up friends. So thank you very much and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. And now for our question and answers. 
Please note that we are not able to answer all questions that were submitted, but please, if you do want a direct answer, please direct us directly through our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Gila High School or on our website. So um, as a technology coordinator, I will be answering some questions regarding the um, tech support and also computers and Chromebooks for students. So the question, so allow me to find the question right here. So first of all, is this being recorded for later viewing? Yes, since we are live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, you'll be able to watch the archive version of this meeting after we're done. Okay, the next question would be, if I decide on blended or face-to-face -face for my child, will devices still be available? Yes, we will have a, a supply of devices available uh, throughout uh, the time, the the open window that we have for opting into to virtual or for distance learning. So as we mentioned before, there are two different models that we have at Gila High School. We have the blended face-to-face -face and distance learning where they will come on their group assignment on every Friday. They will have to do a distance learning option from home. And also we have the online distance learning through Acellus. Both options blended and online through Acellus require the use of a computer. And most families during the summer, we found that most families or households only have one computer. Or perhaps a child was saying, oh yeah, I have a computer, but it was actually their cell phone. So in order to provide the best kind of opportunity for the students, we are offering Chromebooks to all students who require um, technology for home. Even if you do have more than one, so maybe you have a sibling at the school, even the sibling can get their own computer if they are a student of Hilo High School. So we do have the provision. The provision will be for both blended and online learners. So the, again, the, the contact form um, in order to let us know of your interest will be helohigh.org slash 21 tech request. All right, so um, we have one question. So we'll be the way we'll be doing these questions is that our administrators or someone who'll be able to answer the question will be notifying me through Zoom that will uh, that they have an answer to the question and then we'll call on them. All right, so the first question that we have is, um, as a reminder, does ninth graders have an, a freshman only day? Uh, maybe Mr. Chim, uh, actually Ms. Urasaki, can you answer that for us, please? Hi, yes. Uh, unfortunately, with the pushback of our opening for our students, we are not allowed to have freshman only day. So what we're going to do is have our freshmen on the first three days, A group, B group, and C group, freshmen first time on our campus will report to our cafeteria and we'll do a little orientation there at the start of school. So on the first three days, uh, August 17, 18, and 19, freshmen will come to school and report to our cafeteria um, to start the day there. Thank you. And before you go, Ms. Narasaki, we have several more questions that I think you'll be able to answer. So another one is, will there be any meetings for seniors on graduation? If we're going to have a traditional style uh, commencement ceremony, or if we're going to have a drive through uh, and virtual like we did this past year. We do not have information on that just yet. Um, I think the state is and the Department of Education is taking this situation that we're in uh, day by day. So <laughs> when we get more information of what we are allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do, we will definitely um, have a meeting with our, our seniors. Our seniors are the ones um, that are on these committees to help plan what they do as a class. So yes, seniors, you will have uh, a chance to share your mana'o of what you feel would be great for the senior class, as well as having it fit in the guidelines that we need to live by. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Our seniors and their parents should be staying tuned to our website, hilohigh.org, for any more information. Again, as we mentioned before, it is a, uh, I wouldn't say challenging, but it is a changing circumstance that goes, that happens very frequently and very fast. So please, we thank everyone for their patience. And as more information comes out about, regarding commencement and graduation, uh, we will be informed through our website, hilohigh.org. 
So we have some questions about online distance learning. And so I'll ask the two questions first. If my child is registered in the Bundit program, but then gets sick or someone in their class gets sick, can they go to online school only? Actually, maybe we can get an answer to that question first. Who'll be able to answer that question for us? Again, the question was in case if my child registered in blended, but then gets sick or someone in their class gets sick, can they go to online school only? Okay, Principal Rosaki, please. Yeah, I'll answer that question about distance learning. Um, yes, you will be able to go on distance learning um, at any time. However, when you get onto distance learning, it's to our Acelis program. So it's not going to be um, part of the Hilo High teachers that you've had when you come in um, with our blended model. So it will be a, a separate class. And so it would be starting um, from the very beginning of the class. But you are able to get on to uh, our Asales, our distance learning um, at, a, at a later date. Thank you. And one other question was, my son used Asales in the summer. Will it, and will they be required to log in and do their assignments daily? Who'll be checking up on them? I can answer that question too. Um, so yes, we have for our distance learning students, we have to take attendance for that as well. So whether it be they lo they're logging in every single day or if we're logging it by the time that they spent on the on class, on the assignments, um, we have different um, platforms for that. So yes, students that are doing distance learning do have to log in and do their work and their assignments. And they are also being um, checked on, monitored. Our distance learning teacher here at um, Hilo High School is Miss Julie Taniguchi. And she will also be checking in along with your counselors to see that you're on track, that you're doing your assignments and checking in um, to see how you're doing. Thank you. We did receive a question about student IDs, about how many, how and when will students take new ID pictures? Well, we do have a Google form that you can use to submit ID photos for incoming freshmen and also any new incoming students of Hilo High School. If you go to our website, there are instructions on how to submit a photo. And what, we'll, what we will be doing, since we will have to reprint all student IDs to match the color coding, we will be distributing the IDs during, um, during the first week of school. So we'll have more information about that as soon as the IDs are done being printed. All right, the next question that we have regards uh, disinfection. So the question is, are the classrooms being sanitized after each class is dismissed or only at the end of the day? I can answer that. Okay, Mr. Trimble, please. And so, Okay, so in terms of sanitization, the classrooms are being sanitized at the end of the day by classroom cleaners, but teachers are also um, provided with a certain amount of sanitization products that they can implement classroom procedures regarding. So a lot of our teachers are implementing systems where a student would sanitize their desk before they leave so that it's sanitized for the next student coming in. But a lot of those decisions in terms of sanitizing the individual student seats are being made by the teacher in the individual classroom. Currently, we are looking at hiring additional classroom cleaners to increase the frequency of cleaning the classrooms, maybe to two times a day. But as of right now, we don't have the capacity in order to do a sanitization in between each class, primarily due to the contact time that the heavy duty sanitizer that we use at the end of the day requires. Thank you. And I have a question for Mrs. Urasaki. So the question is, if someone does distance learning now, such as they do the online with the Celis, can they change to blended later? They can change to blended later. However, it's going to affect their credits. And so it is not encouraged to do that. So when you take a look at the opt-in form, it will say the recommendation is for a year. Um, if they choose to come back, um, they're not going to get the credit um, that they had missed. 
So it's not encouraged. Uh, if you plan to do distance learning, it is encouraged that you do it for a year. Thank you. And regarding the blended model, will the kids, what will the kids be doing on the days they are not in school? Homework, online learning? That's a question we have. Yeah, they will be doing work. They'll be doing assignments. Um, and depending on their teacher, because some of our teachers may want to do synchronous um, teaching as well. So it's depending on their teacher and the, the model or the platform they use. So we are encouraging our teachers to use um, Google Classroom or Blackboard because those are um, online platforms that could be used um, in class, face-to-face, -face, as well as distance. So depending on, on your teachers and how they plan to roll out their curriculum this year, it might be a combination of both. Thank you. And we do have a very, a, a great new question that we just got submitted through Facebook. And I think Mr. Trimble should, uh, could be able to answer this question. It says, what will happen if your child is allergic to certain types of disinfectants? In this case, Clorox type sanitation wipes. That's a very good question and I appreciate that. Um, the, the disinfectants that we're providing for the teachers are all alcohol based. So think of like rubbing alcohol. Um, the cleaner that's used at the end of the day is a higher grade commercial cleaner. It's the same type that's used in hospitals and there should be um, no residue left by the time the students enter in back the next day. Um, in terms of midday disinfections, the schedule we're working on will allow for enough contact time and drying time so that there shouldn't be any residue left over. Um, it should be noted that the, the chemical that we're using to disinfect the classrooms at the end of the day, it's called X effect. Um, it's the same stuff that we've used in the past to disinfect bathrooms. Um, so if they haven't had a reaction to it in previous years from using the bathrooms at Google I, they, they really shouldn't have a reaction to it in the classrooms. Also at the end of third quarter, um, when the pandemic was starting to begin, we had actually already started implementing the end of the day sanitization procedures with the classroom cleaners and they were already using this chemical. So it's something that if, um, it's something that they really shouldn't be sensitive to um, at this point or they should know if they're sensitive to it because they've already been exposed to it. Thank you. And um, we do have one question that I think I'll be able to answer regarding why our teachers not allowed to use Zoom. In this case, I'll answer the question about um, in terms of uh, the different platforms that we have available for teleconferencing. So for us as uh, Hawaii Department of Education um, employees, we have access to Cisco WebEx and Google Meet. And as a school, we have opted to use Zoom for certain things such as this orientation meeting. And uh, with when it comes to Zoom, we were given guidance um, from the DOE regarding the use of, of Zoom that we still have yet to go into a contract basis with them. So we are asked to use WebEx and Google Meets, but we can use Zoom at our own discretion. And so in a case, there was a question regarding uh, will teachers be able to teach asynchronous? Well, that, uh, we'll be able to answer that question if you send us to your direct message. Thank you. So that's all the questions that we can take at this time. If you didn't get an answer to your question, please contact us directly through, uh, through our social media platforms or through our website. We are again on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hilo High School. And there was one more question. We have a slide for you prepared when it came to requesting a Chromebook. And so the link to that would be hilohigh.org forward slash 21 tech requests. So I'll leave that here for a little bit so that in case you need access to technology for both blended and online learning, you can go to hilohigh.org slash 21 tech request. All right, thank you, we can fade back. Thank you very much for, our, for attending this virtual orientation. But first I would like to thank our administrators and our counseling staff and also our PCNC and Tuna's activities coordinator for joining us on this meeting. And also I would like to thank our in-house producers. We have Mr. Renard Galdonis, Blaine Shiganaga and Mr. Brandon Hamamoto. And they're here helping me run the back end of this program. Once again, Thank you for joining us this evening. And if you joined us late, you can watch this video in full once it is done processing. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay connected. Thank you.